So everyone say bye, we're going on holiday. We are setting off to Wollacombe Beach. So we were eating. Hang on, you going the wrong way? Mm. No, Twitching Holiday Village, yeah, that's fine. Is that what it's saying? House. Let's go in. Hello. This is our one. Come in. So as soon as we enter this particular accommodation, you can if you look to your left you see the kitchen and the living area. So we are in and it's quite big to be honest. The one that we booked was uh for up to ten people. Um, because we've got our family of five and then we had four um, other family members joining us after. So that's why we booked a large house. So as you can see, they, you know, inside you have a freezer, fridge freezer. Um, it's not quite big, so you can't put too much inside, but it should be okay for four days. You've got a toilet with a shower and... It's quite good to be honest it's a decent size then right next to it you see a twin bedroom this is where my eldest daughter slept and then we tried to get my nephew to sleep here when he came but he was a bit afraid so he ended up with his mom and dad um, and then next to that there's another twin room this is where my twin slept my son and daughter and the, as you can see there's like little cupboards as well where you can put um the clothes and you can, there's plenty of space under the beds to put the suitcases in this is our room um so it's a double bed and then again you have a nice little cupboard at the side with a mirror and nice little view outside there's my children coming in and you have some hangers some spare blankets if needed um it's quite nice actually and then next to that this is another twin room we put these two beds together for my uh brother-in-law and sister-in-law and the little baby and uh yeah my nephew ended up in that room as well so i have no idea how they all managed to fit but they did manage to do it um <clears throat> and here you will have a boiler for your hot water and then you have um mops and brooms you're expected to clean yourself and keep the accommodation tidy you also have another spare um washroom and they provide like pots and pans for you i uh, do advise get your own large pot if you've got a large family because they only provide like small pots um which are like i'd say is tea size as in a pot for making tea glass oops don't save light cutlery art
at night time they kind of close the waters so you can't really access it but all the water stuff is closed obviously because it gets quite cold at night it's more entertainment indoors Yeah, this is a bit like forest school where they can come out. Normally you have to pay for the activities, but if you do it without activity. paying, you can come here. Look, activity. So, if you pay for it, then there'll be someone out here doing, um, putting on a fire pit and telling you stories. And that can be booked online. Mom, we don't know though. They have made an Anglo-Saxon house, I'm presuming, right here. We did this at school once, because I work at a school. Just find out. Spray's actual water. You want to touch it? Touch it? Is it real? <laughs> So there's a change machine if you need some change. So you insert the knots in there. You insert in your five pound one. So it goes in and change out. There we go. Five golden Okay, go Zane. 
an egg. Oh, you can get another gold. It's fine. You can get another gold. You can get another gold. See, you can get another gold. You got three golds. Oh, let me try. What did you get from that thing? What, what, what did you get from it? Just an egg? What's inside the egg? Show me the face. Show me the face. Okay, was it worth it? Were you really happy? I did tell you, Zayn. So I found out what to do with the tickets. Basically, these tickets, you go to the ticket station. And from the ticket station, you choose a prize. Right, it's closed at the moment. Um, it says opening times here. There's no one here. So, because it's a Tuesday today, it's actually not open. So, we'll have to come back tomorrow to get our prize. Go quick, put it in. Oh. So the tickets you put in through there and they get counted. So then you can collect your prize from here when it's open. That doesn't work. Single tickets does not work. Push for receipt. And then we should get. And it tells you how much tickets you have. So we literally, as you can see, packed up our fridge with stuff from home, from food from home and local shops. So I've basically got some curries that I made at home and I froze it and then I just, they already had these pots and I just put them in these pots to heat them up for the kids. There are local shops and restaurants available, um, but obviously it's more pricey if we get our food from there, so we just do it this way instead. And once we had our food, not long after, it was time for bed. Zaha and Zayn, Zaha and Alisa, you got one boiled egg each. It's a bull deck. So after breakfast and then after clearing up, because bear in mind there's no other service or room service, you've got to tidy up after yourself and it's just basically like having your own house but near the beach so yeah once we done all that we decided to go to Croyd beach which is also a nearby beach it takes about 15 minutes just to get there and we thought obviously the last time we went it was Willacan Bay beach um, and it's also known as Barricane beach uh, on the maps as well and we thought okay we've been there let's try something else let's go to Croyd beach so this was our journey there and you'll see how it looks like in a minute there's topless um, roofless buses available beautiful area this is Croyd uh, we're near Cro Croyd beach at the moment yeah, you found the so is that can't say there if you want you can come here and uh, 
Blackburn to have some surfing lessons. Here's the surfing shop. This is where you can get your um, wetsuit and your surfboard. So, here's some snakes around that you have to watch out for. And then watch out for the black headed gull. What is the black headed gull? Snake! So, I found a snake. This is where we're going to go up to see the view. Going up the hill. We climbed all the way up. Oh, oh that is beautiful. I recommend going up here even if there are a bit of snakes <laughs> that you might see. Wow. What are you doing Zoe? I'm burying my feet. Look at me smile. <laughs> Say what, are you burying your feet as well? No, just because I'd kiss them. Oh. Should we go down now? No. no. And when they, when they this is like little, uh, our own private area. We're going back down again. I have to make some shine. It's easier going down than going up. I feel like I'm going to fall. Oh, you're trapped. In quicksand. Oh dear, quicksand. Go on, run, 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 run. Try and get out quicksand. Quick. And now come back. Zane, come back. Zane. Zane's a little... When you help bro your brother, that's it, bury your brother <laughs> under the sand. Bury his toes. Now he's a whole body. Oh my goodness, where's Zane? Oh my goodness. Oh, 
<laughs> you okay? Don't actually know. Husband likes his Asian cuisine, so we're gonna heat up the curry soup last night. What are you planning? No. Are you having fun at your trip? Yes. Back here again to get the children tired. Um, the arcade can be quite expensive, so it's better to just come out here, which is free. Oh gosh, <laughs> I guess we're going back to the caravan. Having pot noodles, nice and easy for the children to eat because they get hungry at this time. Plus, we've been out for a while, so. So, for the husband, he likes his Asian noodles, not like regular pot noodles or anything. So, uh, just making some Asian style noodles. You cannot, this is really bad chopping the onions because the knife they give is terrible and we found it really hard to cut with the knife that they gave. So, it's best to get your own knife if possible. So, I add this egg. And now I'm just going to add some Kajun chicken, I don't know how to say it, Kajun chicken. Just add some seasoning. Added the noodles. Just going to mix it in now. And voila, that's it, it's done. I reckon he'll be happy with that. So here's some areas where you can just, if you have a tent, you can bring and put your tent here. Mm. Today we're uh, in the indoor slide. Cloudy. They also have indoor slides which I did really bad recording of and I have no other clips unfortunately. And my love for magic is what makes me powerful. And soon, with the help of a so-called magic lamp, I will be the most powerful man in the whole world. <laughs> Quiet. This soap. You are to do nothing with him until I have spoken with my father. Yes. Don't worry. I will not let any harm come your way. Genie 
genie of the lamp. <gasps> a genie, a real genie. That's right, Aladdin. And from now on, you and me are gonna be the very best of friends. Oh, wow. So it's another cloudy day, but it still looks beautiful. We're back at the beach, we're looking May Beach. I've got uh, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law, niece and nephew joining us as well. So we've got our coats on. I mean, but it's not that cold. To be honest, we didn't realise because it looks cold, but the warp, the air around us feels quite warm. Thankfully. Can you see uh, Wasi and Badan anywhere? You see. So we are at the beach. Once again. ready to leave so everything's all over the place another cloudy day today but it's okay because we're gonna start heading back home in a minute checkout is at 10 a.m and we have to basically get rid of everything and leave it how it was and also strip the linen and put it in a white bag that they gave us at the beginning yeah, that's it. So we cleaned up as much as we could. Everything's binned up. Nice and clean. All the linens has to be off. They're all bagged up. And that's how it's meant to be. All the rooms. Back how they were. Well, we found them done up but we had to make sure the covers were off before we leave so that's it for our holiday time to go home so now we're just going to check out and give the keys back at reception yeah. 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 